I am Megan from 8-Bit Healy. I make retro video game quilts, so that's my job and business. If you want to look it up on Etsy or Facebook, it's just 8-Bit Healy, H-E-A-L-E-Y. Anyway, um, Pokemon is one of my favorite games to play, and watching everyone else's Let's Plays, it made me want to do it myself. So, hey, welcome to episode 2 of Megan Plays Moemon Fire Red. Alright, let's get started! So I love that it does this previously on your quest. Um, it reminds you that you obtained Oak's par parcel. Um, you left his Pokemon Research Lab, that's when you got your starter Pokemon. And you also got a town map from Daisy, um, Gary Oak's sister. So, and I rest comfortably at home. <laughs> so it puts you right back into the game so you know where you last left off. And I like that, it's nice. That's right! I declare to the Pokemon of the world, I will be the greatest Pokemon trainer! The greatest Pokemon master!
Pokemon, and she tells me you made it from the Pokemon Center in Meridian City. The other two Pokemon trainers made it there with no problem, and I'm pleasantly surprised you got there so soon. I admit, when you left, I had my doubt. But when my grandson Gary said that you wouldn't have a single new Pokemon by the time you got to Viridian City, I bet him a million dollars that he'd be wrong. <laughs> well, money isn't everything, right? It was very nice talking to you, Ash. And good luck.
but just from these baby cute little chibi girls, I can't tell which one I want to go with, so I figured it might as well just level up Squirtle, um, deal with potions when I need them, and, um, I mean, I have friends who play this one, and they literally go to the game when they use their starter and one another, and I'm one of those people that I'm so thoughtful about which one am I going to train, and train them all the people, and just all that crazy stuff that does not need to happen, um, that... This time I got around, I'm just going to go purely cosmetic, get me taken, you know, the, the gym leader's room, the water, all the water bubbles, all the already got portal, but you know what I mean, like, I'll use a really type advantage strategy if necessary, but I'm pretty good about using this room right now, thankfully, you know, this battle with, um, Gary could have a lot worse, but for whatever reason, his Bulbasaur, even though I so know it's battle knows, with Gary, fine with, I don't know what it is, so but battle, every battle. time I battle Gary, so I didn't die, rival, thank goodness, that would be embarrassing just for you guys to see me die, so, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I this so, hard, I play it a little yeah, close, because um, I really should be training I with wish, more than one Pokemon right I wish now, that me and you, but what it comes down to is, I decided not such a Pokemon, is I want to truly like the character and play the before I after it. Now. So even though I do like training, <laughs> um, you know, it's funny, we're going to and I the show you a Pidgeotto, but at this point, I want to kind of wait to see if Pidgeotto or Pidgeot or Spiro have a better design, and I'll go back anyway. But just from these baby cute little so I'll stop grinding now and tell the tournament what's going on. The game, so you I figured it'd be might as well just level up Squirtle. Um, um, I'm trying to make these episodes, episodes around 20 and uh, or give or take 20 minutes. I mean, I have so friends who play for the one and they need to really go through the whole game when we use their starter and like one another too long. And I'm one of those people that I'm so thoughtful about which one am I going to train and train them all the people. And there's all that crazy stuff that does not need to happen. This time I got around, I'm just going to go purely cosmetic, maybe take in, you know, the, the gym leader's room, the two water, all the water bubbles, all the already got portal, but you know what I mean, like, I'll use um, a type advantage strategy if necessary, but I'm pretty good about just using Squirtle right now, thankfully, you know, this battle with, um, Gary comes on a lot worse, but for whatever reason, his Bulbasaur, even though I know it knows it's fine with, is not so I didn't die. Thank goodness. That would be embarrassing for you guys to see me die. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Gary Oak. Um, I wish, I wish that me and you were um, not such enemies. But I hate Gary. Thankfully, that other spell came out. Let's try and win. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Normally, I use Bulbasaur as my starter, but. Please, just tell me. You can so, be more responsible. Oh, if you want to become a Pokemon that. trainer, young man, you don't let your Pokemon me. battle till it's in this condition. But you don't know what happened. What's past is past. Yeah, so the soul guys, if there's anything I can do, please just tell me. You can be more. 
responsible. Oh. If you want to become a Pokemon trainer, young man, you don't let your Pokemon battle till it's in this condition. But you don't know what happened. What's past is past. Hopefully, we won't make it that far.
What can I do? Just leave everything to me. Please. It's in your hands. I know you'll give the Pokemon excellent care. You got it here just in time. Alright. I am going to call it a night. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, this is episode 2. I'm hoping to play through all of Moemon Fire Red before it's all over and done. Um, I'm pretty excited about that recent news that they're going to be re-releasing um, Ruby and Sapphire for um, the 3DS, so woo on that! Um, I'm Megan from 8-Bit Healy. Feel free to follow me on Facebook or Tumblr or subscribe. You know, I'm going to be playing Pokemon and being a dork and talking about the episodes and sewing quilts. Kind of what I do. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you guys next time.